Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Marie from My Lady Marie. I talk about femininity, I talk about manifestation, I talk about feminine energy. I also talk about relationships, I talk about my fashion loves, high heels, and I also have a clothing business that I have opened, which will be launching in fall winter season so keep your ears and your eyes open for that because i think that you will love some of the styles that i have to offer they're very classic they're very feminine they're sophisticated and very refined and speaking of refined in this video i want to speak about refinement what it is and how to refine yourself definition is with impurities or unwanted elements having been removed by processing. Elegant and cultured in appearance, manner, or taste. Developed or improved as to be precise or subtle. Perfect. So I'm just gonna read the post. So my post said, enter refinement and etiquette. Develop boundaries and standards. What kind of woman are you? Or do you want to be? If you were a fragrance, what would it smell like? If you were a song, what would it sound like? People remember most how you make them feel. What lasting impressions have you made on others? Does the food you prepare your family and friends put them in a higher health vibrational frequency or does it aid in potential sickness? Does your smile, presence, light up the room or build unwanted tension? These are all great questions to ask yourself and these are all things that are within your control to refine. You have the power to refine yourself and redefine yourself. What kind of person do you want to be? With environment aside, because I know people like to say I'm a product of my environment, but with, a, with environment aside, the choice is yours. And then I said, fly high, beautiful soul. Take the high ground. No matter where you are in your life, you always have the choice to do a 180. And you have to say this correctly. A lot of people like to say 360, but that doesn't make sense because you just end up right back where you started. A 180, make a change. Foot. What kind of woman do you want to be? If you don't know, maybe you can look to people that you look up to, whether it be an actress, maybe a character that she played in a movie, an archetype of a woman right? The tropes that you might find, say, in The Art of Seduction, maybe you find within that book. It doesn't matter where you started. It doesn't matter where you came from. If you want to refine yourself and level up and become a different woman, you just need to be introspective and look at the things that call for you to change. Take some time to really think about it, whether you need to ask friends, families, ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends, colleagues. How did I make you feel? If you could describe me in a few words, what would that be? And kind of compare them with how you view yourself or your perspective of your own self and see if it matches at all. See if there is a trend among your friends, family, co-workers, etc. where they say similar things about you, whether they're positive or negative. Write those things down. <laughs> tally all the good things, tally all the bad things and decide what do I want to bring with me in this new refined woman that I'm manifesting to be? If they say you have a beautiful smile, you're joyful, you're loving, you're caring, um, 
they feel comfortable around you you know these are good things that you might want to keep if they say oh you're a bit intimidating you're a bit guarded you're off-putting um, you're unapproachable uh, whatever these things may be those might be things you might want to take a second look at and refine meaning to remove these elements or impurities in order to refine yourself right now what kind of fragrance <laughs> would you be if you were a fragrance? And I think that's a great question because would you be dark and musky? Would you be mysterious and sexy? Would you be sweet? Would you be fresh and floral? I definitely believe that that would be a great way to define how you feel and what your presence is. Your presence is almost like a fragrance. It just lingers in the air. And when you leave, that's how people are gonna feel, just like your scent will linger in the air when you leave, right? If you were a song, that one. what kind of song would you be? Or what would that sound like? Would you be a hardcore rap song? <laughs> would you be Cold train with the saxophone, some nice jazz music. Would you be chill beats, just some ambiance music? Would you be a ballad? Would you be a love song? Would you be an a breakup song? Would you be hard rock? Right? What would you what would you be? Because music also puts people in a vibration and it can make you feel happy it can make you feel sad it can make you feel motivated it can make you feel even aggressive sometimes right so you with your personality and who you are can activate these feelings in anyone and I hope you can see the correlation in a fragrance or a song and trying to ask yourself, what kind of song would I be? And what kind of fragrance would I be? Because it's really how you're gonna come across to people. So if you find when you're around people or you're dating a man and you find that they're very closed off or they become very competitive with you and challenging. Yes, fair enough. That person may have their own issues and don't take it upon yourself to believe that there's something wrong with you as to why they're dealing with you that way. But also take into account that if every date you go on, you are presented with the same types of behavior from these people, what's the common denominator? You. So be introspective and it's okay, learn, but you've got to be aware to learn and level up and make the necessary refinements to yourself and able to become more refined and ascend into your higher self and your leveled up womanhood and your divine feminine energy. These tips can also go for men as well, right? We all have room for improvement as long as we're introspective, we're open, right? To constructive criticism of ourselves or from others. It's all learning, it's all life lessons. And if you're open to learning and experiencing yourself through the lens of someone else, it can be very beneficial to your upgrading. Starting with yourself, your body is your temple. This is where you're gonna live for the majority of the time that you're in a physical state here on this plane, okay? You should treat your body like a sacred temple because you are a sacred woman. You should feed it foods that are encoded with messages that uplift the vibration in your body 
and charge you in a positive way and don't translate negative energy into your body now i'm not here to tell anybody what to eat and what not to eat but you can do your own research on slaughtering of animals and the energy that they're in when they die and how that energy can translate into you as a being right a lot of these meats are carcinogens it says that on the package a lot of people don't see that um, a lot of these meats are dyed with chemicals to make them look more fresh and red whether it's salmon steak etc and these dyes can affect your vision there's a lot of information out there if you want to tap into that yourself because this is not um, like a pro like vegan go vegan or vegetarian video I'm just giving tiny little insights on little research that I've done so treating your body with the utmost respect <clears throat> is the ultimate level of self-care feminine habits to refine yourself take care of your skin take care of your hair take care of your health take care of your fitness develop a routine these are all ways that you can refine yourself as an individual right if you're loud try your best to make a mental note to lower your voice if you have a very masculine voice try your best to be more soothing and feminine it takes practice it takes time but if you don't start today when will you ever start if you dress tacky or if you dress mostly promiscuous then the attention that you're calling from the opposite sex is a lower vibrational attention and energy and going back to what type of woman you want to be what type of woman do other do you want other people to perceive you to be as well it starts with you you have to value yourself you have to set boundaries for yourself you have to set standards for yourself and then other people will abide by those standards if you conduct yourself as if you have no values you have no morals you have no respect you have no standards you can't expect somebody to come into your life and treat you the way that you know you should be treated but you're not presenting yourself in that way that requires and demands that person to treat you right so I could continue to go on and on and on about this but I really don't think this is a topic that I need to go into great detail I really think that it's very easy to comprehend and understand I gave you the definition of what refinement is I labeled and mentioned and read some of the questions that I have on my Instagram posts and I do believe those are very good questions to ask yourself and that is a great way to start to be introspective and take some time I love journaling write down in a book oh I didn't I didn't like how I conducted myself today um, I got really upset when I was sitting at the light and the person in front of me didn't chain, didn't turn as soon as the light turned green, right? Am I an impatient person? Um, am I, am I a short fuse? Am I, you know, things like that. And sit down at the end of the day, at the end of the week and go through everything, not, not just negative things. Hey, I like the way that I smiled and I thanked the, the waitress for providing me with extra water. Um, I thanked the waitress for telling me what the soup of the day was or whatever the case may be. I thanked the waitress for validating my parking or whatever the case may be. You were just very nice. You had a nice small conversation with the waitress and you connected with somebody and you made their day better as they made your day better. It's like you pay it forward as you go through life. I believe that if you leave people with positive thoughts and good energy throughout the world then it, it comes back full circle to you right 
you might see these people again one day and they might be like, hey, and it's another positive conversation when you may not have, be having a very good day, but they're there and they can lift you up with their positive energy that they're paying back forward to you, right? So anyhow, um, that's just my little video for today about refining yourself and what refinement is. Even more so us as women of color, I think it's so important that we take a broader view of ourselves and not just what media wants us to believe we are because we are so much more than that. Media would exploit us to believe that we're loud, we're ghetto, we're exploitive, we're overly sexualized, mm, but our ancestors would not want that. I beg to differ. We are something more royal than what they would have us and the younger generation of women of color and black men to believe. So I hope you enjoyed this. I was going to say movie. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Please come back again. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe here. Like in the comment section. And once again, you know I love to engage with you in the comment section. I will see you in the next video. Refine yourself, level up, set some, set some boundaries, be introspective, do the work, and trust the process because you can manifest your best life. You do have control of that.